Okay, so we are building a completely free production pipeline today. But before I begin, let's take a look at how a standard production pipeline looks like in most VFX houses. Now, keep in mind, not all softwares listed above are used at once on a project. A studio might choose to build their pipeline sequentially this way, choosing one or two software from each category. Before we move on, there is this one question I see all the time, which I would like to share my thoughts on. Why would it matter if anyone models in Blender, 3ds Max, Moodle, or any kind of 3D modeling program? Can't you just pick one software? work in it using a universal format and hand it over to anyone else without they having any issues with the model it's a great question but this is what you have to understand a lot of companies have invested heavily into scripts and plugins in building their pipeline and they are mostly exclusive to the studio software packages almost every vfx house have their own engine where they are able to sync to the two at hand therefore making the triangulation different so as a freelancer working at home, your normal bakes from your choice of software might break as soon as an animator working within such a pipeline handles your data. For instance, certain tools for modeling in Maya might not be found in Blender and vice versa. Therefore, if you apply certain plugins or tools in creating a model in Blender and export them into Maya, what do you think is going to happen? So why certain softwares aren't used isn't because they aren't good it's mostly an investment and already trained technical hands on board issue the focus of the question shouldn't be why certain industries don't use certain softwares the question should rather be a personal one for instance what's your level of skills and how quick are you able to adapt to an environment if the occasion demands really important question now let's see how a completely free 3d production pipeline would look like this is a pipeline I spent almost three months testing over and over again to figure out which one is best and then I put them all together. Maybe you might not see your favorite free software here. It's cool. It just didn't fit into the pipeline and I won't say why else the video will be full of junk info. So let's check out the free production pipeline I built. Okay, let's have a breakdown on each category. In the modeling section, I have Blender and Daz Studio. Now, don't get me wrong, Daz Studio is no match for Blender. If you want to model entirely from scratch in Blender, you could, but I decided to complement Daz with Blender because of these two main killer reasons. One, Daz Studio has tons of models on their website. Now, check this out. You can download a complete model from their website import it into DAS and export it into Blender. Did you get that? Cool, right? Blender, on the other hand, doesn't have the number of characters DAS has to offer, so it's a plus working with DAS alongside Blender if you want to model. Two, there is an app called DAS to Blender, which you can download for free and work within both softwares without any struggle. Clearly, none of the other apps I tested were capable of this, though they also had their own advantages as well, but they weren't something you still couldn't do with Blender or DAS. You can choose to use Blender alone if you want to start modeling from scratch. Blender is capable of any form of modeling on its own. DAS Studio comes in if you don't want to waste any time modeling or rigging. Sculptress serves as a perfect introduction to ZBrush. It's essentially a lesser version of ZBrush that works on low-end PCs. If you need to sketch a quick concept with simple but efficient tools, choose Sculptress. It's fast, has an easy user interface, can handle high poly count, 
and it's completely free. It's actually the only free sculpting software I would recommend to anybody aside Blender. Remind you, Sculptures is no more in development, so you aren't going to be receiving any updates. Also, there's been so many reports of Sculptures crashing, but by now you should know certain minor bugs causing software crashes aren't a new thing. Even ZBrush still crashes. So, yeah. Blender, as we all know, is the best free sculpting program for anybody who wants to get into 3D modeling and sculpting. Its tools are way advanced than sculptures and should be your number one go-to free sculpting software if you've decided on taking your sculpting skills to another level. As a freelancer, I would recommend sculptures to only people who have taken the decision to use ZBrush someday. Sculptures is the best route to reaching ZBrush. Is there any better free UV mapping software other than Blender? Well, I got a couple, but they didn't live up to my expectations, so I ditched them. The only ones that stood out were Rhizome UV and 3D Code. Maybe you've not heard about Rhizome UV. Rhizome UV's main strength is speed workflow. It can unwrap in seconds, pack in seconds, and optimize in seconds, thereby reducing the hours you spend UV mapping in other applications into minutes with Rhizome UV. It's not free but very cheap so you can choose between 3D code or Rhizome UV for faster UV mapping if you feel Blender's UV mapping system is buggy, limited or not handling polygon interceptions properly. I just mentioned the problems with Blender's UV system. Investing into Rhizome UV or 3D code for UV mapping is definitely worth every penny you would spend. Some of the best texturing softwares you would ever come across would be Substance Painter, Mari, Madbox, or 3D Code. The three alternatives I chose were Pixaflux and Blender. In case you've never heard of Pixaflux, it's really cool, but its node based system is a little boring and difficult to sail through, so you might have to make a big decision here if it's a software you want to spend time learning. On the flip side, there is 3D Code which is part of the paid texturing software, but looking at its price for the individual lenses and what it has to offer, I think it would be one of the best investments you make in your 3D journey. You can search more on 3D code and what it's capable of if you've never heard of it before or click here to learn more about it. All the free rigging softwares I tried were just too bad. I even caught a virus with one weird rigging software I tried. I don't know whether it's a Chinese software or what, but thank God we made it out alive. Rigging is one of the most difficult tasks in the 3D animation field. If you want to rig on a more professional level, then you should be willing to invest into Autodesk Maya. Its side check will be Blender, which is completely free. But I decided to add Daz Studio, and I would maintain the same reasons I chose Daz Studio and Blender for modeling. You get a lot of already rigged characters on the DAS website, which you can download, import into DAS, and bridge it or just save and export it into Blender. As easy as that. But if you want to rig your own characters from scratch, then Blender is the best free rigging software for you. I wouldn't waste too much time on animation. All the free 3D animation softwares I tried didn't live up to my expectation. So for me, the free best 3D animation software is going to be Blender. Blender has the right tools to enable you animate on a more professional level than any other free 3D software I tried. Blender's rendering engine cycles is fast and surely more often does get you the results needed. But when rendering complex super heavily textured scene. It doesn't get any better than Renderman due to its denoiser and bi-directional rendering mode. Note, Renderman is a render engine that's been stress tested and improved for over 20 years and has done a lot of renders on most Pixar movies, so it passes my reputation test. Its quirks are minor and not something you can't fix if you have a stronger machine. But on the flip side, no renders are better than the other. Each renderer has its own 
special ability and should be exploited properly before use. Someone might ask, so what were the purpose and importance of making this video? Well, before I list the importance, let's not forget this video was purposely made for beginners or people trying to get into the 3D field and are kind of stuck and don't know where to start from. Number one will be elimination of struggle. Now what this means is I choose softwares that have similar features and style of operating when compared to industrial level 3D softwares like 3D's Max, Maya or Houdini so that after making some money or maybe just say you gain the skills needed and want to move on to a bigger software you wouldn't struggle to cope with those easy transformation see that number two will be skill set you gain a lot of skills and basic understanding when working with these softwares which would enable you transform very quick onto other softwares with just a few days of studying those and number three would be working effectively and freely amongst all the softwares you can move your objects and creation from one to the other without stress and that's why i stuck to some particular group of softwares all the job is done here no more stress most 3d newbies are actually looking forward to learning only one software that can do all the job that's not a good decision if i have to be honest with you trying other varieties of softwares gives you an upper hand in your field of expertise you become versatile clients see you to be reliable and trustworthy and you become a fit for most studios if an opportunity like that is presented before you note bigger studios will prefer investing in a more flexible quick learning 3d artist than someone who can't adapt to new environments and has few softwares that aren't even standard at hand be willing to learn the most difficult of softwares and that is when your work begins to stand out good skills plus good software equals great output with minimal dark traces the part two of this video would focus on compositing rotoscoping and motion tracking video editing and sound designing if you love this video kindly don't forget to give me a sub peace out